The Oracle Empty Blob function. In this video, we're going to look at the Empty Blob function, which initializes a blob to empty. Let's take a look at an example here. We're going to create a test table which contains a single column of type blob. Now that the blob test table is completed, let's insert a value. We can see down here that one row has been inserted. Let's select this value from the table now. We can see the result shows blob in brackets. Now to actually see the value inside the blob value, we need to use a certain function, which is dvmslob.substring. If we run this, we can see that the value has been outputted here. Now let's say we wanted to set this value to empty. We could do this using the empty blob function. We'll write an update statement, update blob test, set blob val equals empty blob. If we run this, it says the row has been updated. Now let's run the same blob function to output the value. We can see it's been set to null. Now what happens if we try and set it directly to null? It says one row has been updated and then we select the value, it's also set to null. So while you can see that null and empty blob both perform similar things here, the real advantage of empty blob comes when you're looking at PLSQL. In that situation, you may want to set it to an empty value. But in standard SQL here, it behaves quite similar to null. So that's how you can use the empty blob function. If you want to know more, you can click on the link here. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.